Hello and welcome to my humble abode. Well, almost. It's a bit of a state at the moment. We've had so much rain these past few days. There is water everywhere. So I thought I would just give you an update and show you how the build is going. So this is actually the driveway. As you can see, it is full of mud and dirt because we've been doing this back wall. Let's step back so you can get a better view. It's a really high wall like really high, it, it's enormous, but we don't have a choice. We're kind of on a little bit of a hill and there is a house behind there, so we, we really need this, this big back wall. This is all outside the front door. Oh, it's all right, miss. <laughs> it's so muddy. Oh, crikey. Let's get off of this. Oh no, I hope I don't slip. So when you come in the front door, the immediate right we have the stairs going up to the first floor. And then we've got this beautiful wooden ceiling roof with a couple of skylights. So this is the entryway where there's all the water. So to the left here we have a room with a sliding door, a wooden sliding door. This we think is going to be Michael's office to one side and we'll have a TV in the middle and he'll have his gaming area set up there and then we're hoping to have maybe a sofa bed set up for when we have extra guests staying. So I have a little we have a little seating area out here. This bit here, there will be a wall up here, and then that's where all the garden's gonna be. And then the, that'll be the, the entrance gate to the, to the front of the house, to the front door, which is kind of the back of the house. It's kind of the wrong way around. Um, and then there'll be like a sloping driveway that goes all the way up to the front door, which is round where we were a minute ago where all the mud was so that was down there the front door is just up there and then we've got all this water everywhere they're gonna have so much work to do Okay, so you see this big open area here? That's all gonna be glassed in. There'll be about eight glass panels, I think. So here's the structure, and up above there, there's gonna be a wooden structure, which is very similar to the structure of the inside roof that I showed you before with the lovely wooden ceiling. And then all of this will be glassed in and we'll have a nice big dining table here. Crikey, I'm going to have to swim across there. And then we'll have a door. There'll be a door just there, which leads out onto another area here. Past the garden, which the garden is going to be higher up over there. And then we've got some stairs down here. So this, there'll be some steps here, bringing the level down. <laughs> Is gonna be the swimming pool. Not quite sure yet how we're gonna do that. We haven't sort of sat down and planned it. Okay, so let's go back in to the main 
So back into the bit that's going to be glassed in. This will be the dining area. So we'll have a nice big dining table here. Now, I would normally walk across there, but the water is so deep, I'd better walk round. <laughs> So down there is the garage and in here is the guest bathroom. So by law, when you're building a new house in Portugal, you have to have a guest bathroom on the ground floor that is accessible for wheelchair users. So you have to have a door that is wide enough for a wheelchair to get through and also the actual bathroom itself has to have the turning circle inside. Um, for a wheelchair user and the shower obviously has to be um, accessible for that too so it's just pretty good I mean it's it's you you never know right you never know what's going to happen in the future and then in here this is actually on the plan as a um, another bedroom next to the kitchen but we're going to use it as a utility room And that has a door that goes out onto a terrace there where we'll, ha where we'll have some um, area to dry the washing and stuff like that. So this part here is going to be the kitchen. So where this little wooden trestle table here, that's where we'll have a big kitchen island. And then over here, just underneath and to the right of the window, we'll have some base units. Um, we're not going to have any high um, units on that wall, just um, low ones. There will be a, an extractor fan to go above the cooker. Um, and, and then here, where all this insulation is, we're going to have a lovely big American fridge. And next to it, there'll be like a little area, which is for co the coffee machine and stuff. And then to the other side, there'll be a big unit there. And then there's another door that goes outside to that same area where we can dry washing and have a herb garden and stuff. And then just here, you have the two windows. So those windows are gonna have, um, not they're not balconies that you can walk out onto, they're just um, Juliet balconies with wrought iron. And then that area will be the sitting room and the TV. I have a TV in there, a sofa, um, for us to sort of sit and chill in the evening and that the TV will be on that wall so if I'm cooking I can also watch TV <laughs> which I love to do right let's go back into the hall and I'll show you upstairs so we've got all this channeling here because we're going to have some of those little lights that light up the stairs. So, I'll show you our bedroom first. So this is our bedroom. So we come in here, around here, and this is our bedroom. Lovely big room for a lovely big bed lovely wooden ceiling. We're going to whitewash the ceiling just so that we get rid of the yellow of the pine but we keep the, um, the grain of the wood and then this part, this is one of my favourite parts of the house. It's a terrace but it's covered. So we can sit out here in the summer when it's hot and still have shade Gonna have some really cool sort of up lights in the walls. And that's the view. Over there are the Monchique Mountains, covered by clouds at the moment. Isn't it fabulous? And here you can see the pool from up here.
So Michael and I had a few disagreements about the bathroom because he wanted this shower area to have a big glass wall, but the toilet is going to be here. And one of my pet peeves with a toilet is when you don't have a toilet roll here. I hate it when you've got to turn around and grab it from the back of the toilet system. Drives me nuts. So I've said, whatever happens, I want a toilet roll holder to be fixed to some kind of a wall here. But he was like, no, I really want it to be glass. I said, no, how about a small wall and then glass? And he's like, no, I don't like that. So I said, well, it's a wall then. We got a wall. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got a lovely big shower in there, which we're really pleased about. And then, so the toilet is here. We've ordered a big bath, beautiful big white bath here. Yeah, it's a lovely one. We've already ordered it. And then on this side, there's going to be a really beautiful big sink unit that, again, we've, we've already ordered. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, the wall tiles. We have pretty much chosen. They're like a long, thin, browny, beautiful beigey browny colour. Um, I think they're going to look fabulous in here. Really excited about that. And then the pièce de résistance of our own little suite, or should I say, big suite, is this huge room, which is our walk-in wardrobe. Isn't it huge? We're going to have wardrobes all the way around and then here I will have a little table where I can do my hair and makeup. Um, unfortunately the room is not going to be entirely mine as Michael has said that he wants to use it as well, which is a bummer. <laughs> he wants open wardrobes and I'm like no, they need to be closed. You don't want your, dust, your clothes to get all dusty so I'd like to have wardrobes with, with glass doors on, but we'll see. We'll see what happens, but that's, yeah, that's the walk-in wardrobe. Almost as big as our bedroom. <laughs> and then we come back through here, through this little walkway. And then this corner, this is a guest bedroom. So it's only small, but very nice. Big enough for a double bed, and a little unit just there and again we've got the lovely wooden ceiling and this room actually gets a lot of light in the afternoon so it's a really lovely room to be in nice view outside unless they build which they may well do because I think that plot's for sale there and then the guest bedroom also has a little bathroom so let me step back so you come into the bathroom there'll be a toilet in front a big I say big it's not very big but there'll be a shower there next to the window and then a little sink here which is Small but perfectly formed. But this room, this is the room I'm probably most excited about because this is my office. So, bigger than the guest bedroom because it doesn't have the, the bathroom cutting out of it. So when you come in the front door, not the front door, when you come in the door to my office, I think I'm gonna have a lovely, big bookcase as high as I can get it there and if I can get something that's got like a corner so it's a corner bookcase I'd really like that to be there and then I was thinking I'd like to have a big table for sewing and cutting fabric and stuff so I'd like that to be there and then over on this side I think this is where I'm going to have my desk with my computer I think Still a little bit undecided, and over there, where you are, where the camera is, I'd like some kind of a sofa, comfy seat, um, 
to chill out and I think that's a nice spot because you get the sun coming in there in the early afternoon or yeah, sort of, is it no, uh, yeah, in the early afternoon, yeah. <laughs> so I've got loads of light fixtures um, set up because I told the um, the electrician that it's really important that I get lots of light in this room for when I'm sewing and, and stuff like that, doing my crafts. Um, and I want, really, I want the room to be, I haven't quite decided, but I love sort of all things gothic and dark and um, Hogwarts, vampire age, that kind of thing. So I'm trying to think of how I can sort of make it a room like that. But the walls, I'd like the walls in the house to be white, but I'm kind of undecided whether I should maybe have the walls a, a darker colour in here so that I can really make it that sort of, give it a gothic or a, or a, a dark academia vibe. Maybe I should just go for a light academia vibe. I'm not really sure. I've got, I think when there are too many choices, it's really difficult to make a decision. But yeah, I've got plenty of time to think about it. But the whole of the house is going to be tiled, the floor is going to be tiled with these beautiful tiles that look like wood. And they're going to be laid in a herringbone pattern, so they kind of look a little bit like parquet flooring. I'll show you what they look like. The main living area is going to be slightly lighter, and then upstairs we've chosen one, or we think we've chosen one, we're still, still deciding, um, is a little bit darker, but both of them are really, really pretty. Um, so I think that's, that's def we're definitely doing that throughout. I think anything that I choose to go is going to go really well with that, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> We're going to have lights in each of the corners of the wood, shining upwards to show the beauty of the wood. We have put a fitting in there for a chandelier if we eventually would like a chandelier, but we're undecided because it's a long way up. Long, long way. <laughs> so we're not sure about that just yet. Let's head down into the basement level. Okay, so these are the stairs down to the, gar the garage, the basement area. So we're going to have some lights lighting up these steps, which would be pretty. It's a bit dark here, so I'll just briefly, <laughs> obviously it's not going to be this dark, but there's a a loo there and the technical room there as well so they're opposite each other but then we come through here little cupboard under the stairs <laughs> and then we got this which is Michael's playground this big garage which is he's so excited about so not only does he have all of that space, so that's going to be for the cars, because we are a bit of a car mad couple. But he's also got this side for motorbikes and machinery and stuff, which is pretty cool. So we've got the main garage door there, but we've also got access for a smaller door which is great because I always think it's such a pain you know when you've got to keep opening the big garage door to get into the house so really pleased with that so that's it that's the house tour as it is at the moment we've been building probably working on everything for about a year and um it's what well, it's March now um, I don't know, we, we don't know how long it's going to take until it's finished, but we're really hoping that we'll be in by Christmas. But I will keep you updated as things change. Um, if you have any questions about building in Portugal, just shoot them below and I'll um, get back to you. Um, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more on what it's like living in Portugal, building in Portugal and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!